Hi, I'm Neha. I got to play pro tennis and travel around the world for six years. After that, I graduated from college and moved to New York. Through these awesome adventures, I learned a lot about the body, mind, and practical ways to improve myself. I'd like to share them with you. Welcome to Neha Shows. If you're struggling with your serve accuracy or perhaps double faults, one of the main culprits could be your toss accuracy. I'm going to show you a couple of exercises you can do today to help improve your toss and improve your serve. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is the clock exercise. What you'll do is you'll line up for your serve just like Elisa is here and you'll draw a semicircle around your court. You're going to mark 12 o'clock and it should line up to the back of your heel your left heel. And then you're gonna find two o'clock and mark it there. Your objective is to toss the ball at two o'clock. Now Lisa's gonna give it a try. And she's gonna try and toss the ball at two o'clock. Exactly the spot you want for perfect serve. Try again. Now you can see she's struggling with a little bit of toss accuracy. And just this exercise alone will expose how good or bad your toss is. Good. Keep trying for 2 o'clock. Line it up. 2 o'clock. That's all right. There we go. We got one. Now, if you want to take this down a notch and this is a bit difficult for you, another exercise you can do is tossing on your racket. So it's a very similar concept. You're going to, again, line up for your serve. Place your racket just in front of you. Make sure that the grip, your grip, is touching your foot. Elisa, you want to line up for me? Okay. But if you can get 10 in a row, you're at, you're at for a, a better toss. Yep, line it up right here on your toe. That's it. Really try to get your hand to start where you want the ball to land. You don't want to move your hand around, right? Because you're trying to get it right here. So, so do yourself a favor and just be really calculated. It's almost as though you're putting an ornament on a Christmas tree. You know, you're just kind of placing it. There you go, you got one. You're just kind of placing it on the tree. You're not throwing it, you're placing it. And that's what a toss is. It's a toss, not a throw. Good, Elise. Now the next exercise you can do is a little bit of both your toss and your serve rhythm. I like to call this finding your unique rhythm. Oftentimes when we serve, it can be a bit jerky, especially if we're new. You're coming here, then you're here, and then you don't really know where you're serving. So one way I like to get my students into a rhythm, which often provides more accuracy and consistency, is to have them hum a little song or a rhythm that's unique to their serve. My rhythm, sounds something like this. One, two, three, four. Elisa's might sound completely different. So let's let's see what her rhythm's gonna be. All right, Elisa, you're gonna try and serve. Okay. And as you're serving at every point that you feel, you're gonna count out a rhythm. Okay. And that's unique to your serve. Okay. All right? Yes. Let's give it a try. Okay. So we start at one. Okay. So there's one. One. Two, and two. All right, so she did one and two. Now make sure that that and is exactly the same every time. One, oh, so or you, like or you one could, and two and, sure. that might be better. One and two and, She's definitely a dancer, not me. <laughs> one, <laughs> one and, and two, two and. Ten. So the, the end has to be contact point. Okay. One and two and. Oh, I don't know. One and two and much better. So another exercise you can do is ball tosses on the fence. You're going to find a corner on your tennis court where there's a fence and then there's fence right behind you. And you're going to practice toss accuracy. 
This again alludes to just having a nice clean motion on your toss without bending your elbow or moving your hand. This exercise right here will really control all of that. Elisa, try to toss the ball right up against the fence. Have it land on the fence and kind of trickle back down. Yes. And now give me a full, almost a full serve motion. Yes. Let's see if you can get it to glide up the fence and back down. Better. Now the trick here is to not have to move your body at all to catch it again. It should be in such accuracy that it comes right back into your hand. This is kind of again like that Christmas tree, you know, placing the ornament on the Christmas tree. This, will, this alone, just doing this exercise, will improve your toss accuracy tremendously because it restricts your motion and your movement in your hand, which oftentimes is what leads to a bad toss. Give it a couple more. Good. Try to really get it to graze against that fence. Yes. And do your full, your full backswing. Yes. It's important not just to do the toss, but also the movement because you want to be able to practice taking both hands up. Once you feel like you've mastered this, you can come back to the court and do your clock exercise and see if you can get it at 2 o'clock. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Neha Shows. Which way do you want my body? Uh, however, just be, just be I'm a photographer. Yeah.